Hello and welcome to Tech 18. So here in this video, I am going to cover the few updates all at once, whatever they have released recently from Microsoft for Power BI. Because there are small small updates are there and I thought not to cover in a separate video, combine it together and then show it in one video. So let's jump in. So the first one is they released about before to that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. So the first is analyzing Excel workbooks are now saved to OneDrive for business. So usually what happens is if a user doesn't have Office 365 installed on the machine and they want to use this feature of analyzing Excel, then by default, initially it was like when you click on that, by default, it will download it onto your local machine and when you click on that, it will ask you to install that OLED provider from the Excel in order to work on all those things and everything, right? So in order to avoid that, they have made an enhancement about whenever you use this feature, by default, it will save to your OneDrive account and from that, it will open up in the browser. And then if you want to download a copy, then you can just click on that and open a desktop and then you can work on the desktop file if you have it over there. So now the checkpoint is if you don't have a OneDrive account, in that case, by default, it will download onto your local machine and then you can work on your Excel file according to that. So that's the latest update which they have released here. And the next update is about high availability, load balancing and troubleshooting the VNet gateway. So basically they have recently released, not recently, like one year back, they have released about the VNet gateway. VNet gateway is nothing but a virtual network gateway. And this actually helps to connect the Power BI to all your Azure services together. And they have given us high availability of load balancing cluster improvement to that. And I'm going to add those links into the description of this video so that you can go and check out that video as well. And now the coming soon features which they have mentioned about is changes to the Power BI service, simpler navigation improvements to list on home and style updates. So now let's have a look at this one. So the latest update is about in the navigation changes browse on the left navigation, we can see the favorite option and the recent and shared with me inside to a browse function here. And now if you go here and here I can see this browse and inside to that I can see these three things here in our Power BI tenant. And what the other thing is changes to home in page list improvement in the recent favorite and my app list on the home shows all content for those lists, not just first two words. We also added filters to ability to search on those pages here. So here, if I go back here and here, I can see the filter here. I can have options of filtering in multiple options. I can make the use of workspace level, report level and the timings here. And also they are planning for a style update, theme update for this Power BI service thing. Okay, moving on. The next update is about new data source gateway management experience. So they have now officially released their management gateway experience for the new data source. I mean the gateway management feature. I have made a separate videos on how this new functionality will look like. This is actually they are combined up with the power platform and also the power BI, uh, the same interface together. So please go and check out that video as well in order to understand how these things works. And the next is they are released about new Power BI known issue pages. So there are a few bugs are there in Power BI which most of the people have raised the concern on that. And if you want to know what is actually the bug is and when they are going to clear that whether it is open or closed, then you can just click on this link and it will give you the list of available bugs inside to that. So I'm onto this Power BI known issue page and you can see this, there are few things which is pending here. And apart from that, only one is updated here and which is fixed on April 4, April 5. And everything is on open here, which is like consume and view. If you want to look into in detail about what is that actually error is, you can click on this one. Unable to load Power BI dataset list in Excel. The try button is not available for the REST APIs and this is still open and it is missing since 19th April. They are raised issue on that. So here the list of all these things. I will also add that link in the video description here. Please go and check out that video as well in order to understand uh, what are the known issues are there. If you are facing any kind of issues, then please refer to this here so that you can aware of, oh, this is the issue with the Power BI and they are fixing those issues as soon as possible. 
and you can see that also they have mentioned about the issue fixed or removed after 46 days because if you want to go and check out that video whether your issue is being cleared or not you can also come and check out the status of that here and the last thing which i want to highlight is about managing subscriptions got a lot easier so initially if you sub if the user has subscribed to any kind of report in power bi even the admin doesn't have an access to view the subscriptions who has done that and what are the subscriptions available only that particular user has an access so that he can view and edit or delete that subscriptions so that's really not an uh, easy way so now they have improved a bit and now admin can able to view the subscription under the data set setting page all the subscriptions done by the users and he can make a control of all the other subscriptions if they want that's a real and awesome update here and uh, here is the link of that uh, settings and we can go and check out that settings here also so these are the updates which i just want to highlight you all about the recent update from power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button i will try to continue the series of power bi plus azure in the upcoming series so please stay tuned for the updates in my channel if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications please share your comments in the comment section below it means a lot for your feedback or for your any kind of queries i will try to reply as soon as possible and uh, don't forget to share this video to others so that they can also learn and grow together until then see you in the next video